Welcome to the service clinic at Low Country Harley Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. Standing right next to a 2017, and you know the 2017s are either twin cooled with water or oil cooled. And of course, that means that these 2017s have a very large oil cooler because it's part of the cooling process of the new 2017s. And the question comes up. Doc, do I need an oil cooler on my motorcycle? Need? Well, that's a, a great question here. Let's talk about oil coolers. First, let's both agree. A Harley Davidson is air oil cooled, all right? It has air coming across it, and as the air comes across the motor, it draws heat away, and it also, as the air goes past the oil pan, it cools the oil, and the oil is one of the items that is cooling a Harley Davidson. Inside, we have piston jets that are spraying cooler oil, hopefully, underneath the pistons to help cool them. And, of course, the oil goes through the motor and comes back to the oil pan to cool off and come back. It's a big process, but we both agree it's air oil cooled, all right? So, adding an oil cooler, let's look at the pluses and minuses. The pluses, I'm adding more capacity, more oil, all right? So, that means I've got more oil to cool the motor. So, I think that's a plus, all right? Two, it's an air-cooled motor. Well, if I'm putting the oil up front, where usually the oil cooler is on a Harley Davidson. I've got air coming across the oil and cooling it. And that brings up the subject of technology has come a long way with oil coolers. Back in the shovel head days, we used to take a oil cooler from an auto transmission cooler and put those on our Harleys, on our shovel heads, and that was just a tube with some fins on it. Not real efficient, but we had the best intentions. Well, technology has updated a lot with the oil coolers. One, they've redesigned the oil cooler so it dissipates the oil. The oil comes in and it spreads the oil out so there's more area for the oil to get cooled off. So while it's up front, the air's coming, it's cooling it more and bringing it back to the oil pan so it can bring it through the motor. So the technology has come a long way. That technology is also bringing a plus to putting an oil cooler on your motorcycle because Harley-Davidson with their oil coolers, the adapter has a thermostat in it. All right, and all thermostats are set at 185. Let the motor warm up, warm up the oil, because oil, yes, works the best in a certain temperature range. All right, you go above it, it starts breaking down. Below it, it really doesn't get the viscosity going. So yes, a thermostat is a fantastic idea. Harley-Davidson has one in their product when you add one onto your motor. And so under 185, your motor is circulating the oil just as it always is. Above 185, it opens up, lets the oil go through the oil cooler, and it starts cooling the oil down. And usually you get about 20 degrees. Doesn't sound like much, but when you're up there at the 250 mark, bringing it back down to the 230, 220 mark really helps a lot in keeping that oil viscosity working and protecting your motorcycle. So, buying an oil cooler, that's one of the questions you should ask. A lot of you search the internet and look at aftermarket, that's fine, but ask them, do you have a thermostat that's in it? Because, yes, if you don't, you're just throwing the oil out into the air and back, and it's keeping the oil maybe a little bit too cool in some of your areas that you're watching. Some of you live in the Midwest and the up north. Now, here in South Carolina, we stay above 50 degrees most of the time and 80 degrees. So an oil cooler, even without the thermostat, is helpful in this area. And if you ever get stuck in stop and go traffic here in Charleston or Atlanta, yeah, you want an oil cooler on it because you want that extra air to cool and you want that extra capacity. Now, some of the negatives for an oil cooler. One, it didn't come on your motorcycle. All right, I get that. All right, your motorcycle is designed without it, but that's just one. Two, yes, you are adding it onto your motorcycle. So wherever you add it, the gasket for the adapter or the worm clamps that hold the hoses, they can work themselves loose over a period of time and you might get a little drip of oil. So you replace the clamp or you make sure that they're tight or you replace the gasket. So yes, there is that minus, you have the possibility of a small oil leak. Yes, there is that horror story, and in my 30 years, maybe just once I've seen it happen, 
some big stone comes up and puts a hole through your oil cooler and you got to stop. Yes, it can happen. So those are some of the minuses. Buying a cheap aftermarket oil cooler can also be a minus because sometimes where they route the hoses, pinches the hose, and now you have a flowing problem of getting the oil back to your motorcycle or the attaching areas aren't the best and they weep and leak all the time and you just finally get tired of it and you take it off. So yes, there are plus and minuses. In my book, I think with the new technology and the way they are designed, an oil cooler is good for your motorcycle. Especially if you're in the high performance range as I am, is if you make your 96 to a 103. If you'll notice that CVO Harley Davidsons, 103s, 110s, the performance motorcycles, they come with oil coolers. There is a reason. There's more heat because you're creating more heat with the more performance. So if you're thinking of hot riding your Harley Davidson or making it a big bore to a 103 or a 110, yes, an oil cooler helps manage that extra heat that you've put in that wasn't designed in the original motorcycle. Now, last question. It's becoming a thing in oil coolers to add the fan. Is it a good thing? Well, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think trying to do it yourself and adding the little fan that's in your computer, yeah, that's bad. But a manufacturer that is designed with a fan has the idea that when you're in stop and go traffic, you're really not bringing that air and helping the oil cooler do the best. So they put a fan on it to suck either the air over the oil cooler or they put it in front of it to help blow the air through it. So it can be a good thing. And for your knowledge, the new 2017 Freewheeler Trike comes with a fan behind the oil cooler. So Harley Davidson must be thinking about, all right, a trike, it's not moving as fast, it's a lot of stop and go. They've added the option of the fan. So keep that in mind, maybe it is a good thing. This is an ultra cool and it does work on their models and they actually tell you with a little light saying that it's on and it's off so you know when it's working. So I hope I've given you a little bit more knowledge because that's what you need when you make the decision to put an oil cooler. I can't stress enough, Harley Davidson products are made for Harley Davidson. So keep that in mind when you're thinking of adding an oil cooler to your Harley Davidson. Just a few tech tips and a little ideas about the oil coolers. If you've got an opinion, hey, post it on our Facebook or on our site. I'd love to hear from you. I'm Doc Harley. We'll see you next week.